Your Daily 180, 180 Seconds of Pure Bible Study. Thank you for being with us today. We're wrapping up our study on your Daily 180 of what does Jesus say about hell. We're looking at the Sermon on the Mount. We're in Matthew chapter 7, and we're going to begin at verse number 21. At the end, we're going to have our email address come up, questions that you can send in to us. And please, please, if you have questions, please send them to us. In Matthew chapter 21, Jesus tells us who's in danger of hell. It is a group of people who are not willing to do the will of the Father. Did you notice that? There's something we must do. Listen to what Jesus says. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Did you notice that? There is something we must do. And someone says, well, there's nothing you can do to be saved. It's all up to God, nothing, you have nothing to do with it. Well, I'm sorry, folks. The Lord says we must do the will of the Father. Jesus said in John 14 and verse 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. Do you realize those who say that, that we don't have to keep commandments to be saved, do you realize that they are saying in essence, you don't even have to love Jesus because Jesus says keeping my commandments is a testimony to the fact that you love me. What do we need to do? Listen to me closely. <clears throat> Number one, we need to hear Jesus. We need to hear everything that He has to say. Romans 10 verse 17 says that's where faith comes from. And Hebrews 11 and verse 6 says that without faith it's impossible to please Him. When we examine the evidence, we need to come to a place of faith. John chapter 8 and verse number 24, Jesus said, unless you believe that I am, you'll die in your sins. The logical response if we have faith in Jesus is to say, I need to repent and live like Jesus. Luke 13, 3 and verse number 5. And if we're willing to do that, then we should be willing to tell the whole world that we believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Matthew chapter 10, 31 and 32. And obviously, if we do that, then we should be obedient to the rest of what he says. Jesus said to us uh, in Matthew, or excuse me, in Mark 16 and verse 16, He who believes and is baptized shall be saved. He who does not believe will be damned. In Acts 22 and verse 16, the apostle Paul said that Ananias came to him and said, And now why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. And we see in Acts chapter 2 and verse number 47, when you do that, when you're baptized for the forgiveness of sin, the Lord adds you to His one church, not a man-made church, but the church you read about in the Bible. And then He expects us to live faithful for Him. In Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10, we see that. Do you see? It's all about Jesus. And it's all about being obedient to Jesus and doing the will of the Father. I plead with you. Enjoy the blessings of a relationship with Jesus and avoid the horrors of hell. Join us again next week for your daily 180.